Hello people, hello, welcome. I've decided to do something slightly stupid. I have decided that I am going to do the longest Fallout New Vegas Let's Play possible. And I'm also going to play in a sort of realism mode if you like. I'm sure there's a, there's probably a, a proper name for this this challenge. Um, I know there's there's like a people like to make challenges in, in games that aren't, aren't you know fan-made challenges and the like. Um, there was one there's one for a Pokemon. Uh, I think it's called Nuzlocke. Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing the whatever the Fallout Fallout version of it is, and that in, that's uh, basically no fast travel, no. Uh, other stuff. I should really look this Alright then, so uh, I've installed a couple of mods. Uh, I'm still currently looking for a dark, uh, sorry, a more dangerous nights mod. Um, what I'm hoping to do is hopefully we can get like a, because I'm trying to play this as, as realistically as possible if you like, as hard and as realistically as possible on this journey. And hopefully I can get a uh, a dark, I keep saying dark, a, a dangerous nights mod where you know animals, there are more animals and, and more dangers, so so that I uh, I need a place to to sleep for the night when when the sun goes down. Anyway, so I've done the I got the boring stuff out of the way, the start of the the game out of the way. I went through the character selection, I did the training mission where you know you got to shoot. Uh, root beer bottles and and killed a few geckos and I also raided the local houses and such for you know all the junk and I sold that nonsense um, so I've got 1300 caps okay yes so I Temperature 28 degrees. Okay, now it's changed back to Fahrenheit, which I don't want, which is annoying. settings okay yes so anyway so we've got after uh, a weather mod as you can see it's raining now uh, for some reason it looks like it's snowing when you look straight up but that's fine that's fine it's a mod after all uh, now then Yes, as I was saying, this is going to be sort of like a, a long, a really long, long play. Um, I've done all the done all the areas. I say I've done all the areas. I've done the. I've raided some stuff, and this is going to be a. Uh, basically, uh, I'm going to try and do like a, a really long Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Uh, you know, one one every Friday or something. Anyway, so yes, I've, I did the, the first mission, the training mission, if you like, if you want to call it that, and I cleared out the starting area um, just to get rid of, you know, to get past all the boring stuff. And i have making my build around a uh, uh, melee science speech kind of dude. Although, as, as time goes on, I'll probably end up levelling the majority of them up to 100. Um, but for now, we'll be on our way. Now then, uh, I am also doing this. Um, I am also giving myself the the chat like a, a realism mode challenge. So obviously, I'm using the the hardcore setting that comes with this game. I am also. Not going to be fast traveling, so there's going to be a 
a metric shit ton of walking. And there's some enemies up ahead already. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've also got... Um, So there's going to be, I've made the, the wasteland a more dangerous place, there's going to be radiation storms and the like. Uh, shit, what's the quest? Okay, yes, uh, so ideally I want to, uh, I don't, currently I don't plan on doing the, the main story. Uh, I'm just going to walk around, go from place to place, because us usually when I play this game, Previously, um, I've just done you know the story, and I haven't really ex explored the game. Um, so in this case, I am basically just going to to do that really. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a long a long journey, a long journey from start to finish and when I get to the end we will end. I don't know how long. I plan on making this a really long uh, playthrough like a, like a ridiculously long one um, so we'll see we'll see what happens really maybe I could that's actually. close enough who are you what? Uh, I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Uh, is it you? What are the rules of caravan? It's a two pl The goal now, is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Here, take this holotape. So. I don't have time for All right. a game right now. I just went to the free deck. Now there is a way that you can set up your deck specifically to win like every or ninety-five percent of the time. Uh, what do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm uh staying in town for a bit. I see. Did you want something else? Uh, what do you do around here? Like I said. Uh, can you tell me anything about good swings? Uh, I've never stopped here until recent. Uh, it's been in business for a very long time. It's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. My caravan was on the return trip from California, and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran. So I figure their friends are out for revenge. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yes, anyway, so I've also installed a, a Darker Nights mod, and I've also installed a Texture mod for the Night Sky, because the, the Night Sky in, in Fallout games, let's be honest, are fucking awful. They're really, really flat. Um, so I've got a, a, a... Hello? Yeah. P 
Pardon? Alright. Bye. Bye. It's not raining or anything, is it? No, not yet. Yes, uh, the skies look look really flat. Um, so I've uh, included some mods for that. Uh, installed some mods for that. Now I am going to look for a. Whoops! Didn't mean to steal your bullets. Didn't realise they were going to be stealable. Um, I've lost car. What a shame! I just give some guys some bottled water. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I've uh, I've installed a mod to make the knights look better and and the game in general look better at night. Uh, I'm going to look for some more mods as time goes on, obviously, to extend the extend the life. Uh, there's a. I don't know if I'm gonna. So what's going on? I haven't talked to her yet. Don't have the skill. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, some creatures over there. Probably. I oh know. I can see them. Little rats just there. So yes, I'm gonna be uh, playing through this, like I said. Um, I'm playing on the, the hard difficulty. Um, I may change it to very hard later on. Search giant rat. Nothing in that one. Giant rat frenzied. Okay, so there's nothing in those giant rats. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to hopefully get rid of the, the cursor as soon as possible. Um, the, the compass arrow, I should say, uh, just because I don't really want it there. It's kind of immersion breaking, if you like. Although I suppose having the whole HUD up would also... I wonder if there's a, there's probably a mod to disable the HUD, actually. Um, I could could try to find that. Uh, there's Peter's Be free, Tumbleweed. Be free. Tum for some reason, Tumbleweed always gets stuck in there. Um, I'm not, not particularly sure why it always ends up in that, that corner. I remember making a, a pile of them once. There was like three or four piles. Uh, so let's talk to... Hey Trudy, do you want to help? Feeling thirsty? No, you don't. Okay. What do you have for sale? I can sell some... No, I can't. She doesn't have any money left. I uh, sold everything I had to her. Ah, right, there she is. Hi there. Sticking around. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I'll be waiting. Alright then, so let's get these guys together. That's, no, that's all stealing. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Mm. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. 
All right then. Yes, so you, here it comes back. Let's go into the the general store and let's see if Chet has uh, uh, that that name just makes me laugh. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, I need supplies to fight the powder now gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a cat investment off. you're talking about. Ah, oh, one more for barter. Okay. Uh, let's see if I've got something that will increase my barter temporarily. I need uh, barter, barter, barter. I can't remember what the, the magazine was called for barter. Junk town vendor, lockpick, speech. Guns, explosive, science. Da, 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 da. Oh, barter! There we go. That's lucky. Looking to buy some supplies? You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo, and uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. Right then. So this guy's this guy's a lovely little coward. Um. Oh shit. Okay, so let's get my science up to 50. Um, Lockpick is down. Uh, let's see, speech, science. Uh, let's get this up. And we don't have any additional points. Um, I also, the, the two uh, traits, if I remember what they're called correctly, uh, I got the the wild wasteland trait, and also another one that raises all of my um, I've got uh, a plus five to all non non attacking skills, and minus five to all you know weapon c combat related skills. Welcome back. Uh, I need this town's gonna be attacked by bandits. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg, and my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Excellent. Thank you. Okay then. So he's given us our supplies. So yes, once we um once we hit the road proper, um hopefully it'll get. A little more interesting because uh, this this starting area is always kind of boring. Uh, let's see, data quests, quite easy piece of dynamite. Uh, now that's a, a level 25 speech check on explosives, I believe. Uh, what have we got? We got two. So yeah, there's no chance of getting no chance of getting the explosives even with a, a magazine. Uh, so there's no point talking to Easy Pete. I, I never really get easy, I never go for an explosive skill anyway. Um, I remember how terrible the grenades in Fallout 3 were, unless you use um, oh, a bottle. Unless you use vats, um, which I'm not going to be doing. So what's going on? Sunny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're. Uh, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. That's quick. Pa they're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Alrighty, so out we go. There's some guys down there. Now, I don't know how this fight is going to go, to be honest, because everybody is going to have a gun except for me. Um, I might switch to a, a gun. A uh, BB gun requires zero skill to use. Oh, a 9mm actually requires zero, zero skill to use. So let's go with the 9mm and um, hope for the best, really. Hope that I don't end up. Careful, there's still more of them. Quite true, Keep an eye out. This isn't finished yet. So I've also turned off. 
true. Shit, I'm just hitting the wood. I've also turned off true iron sights because I've never liked. Never liked iron sights. Um, that may be a bit of a weird thing. However, I just I can't stand iron sights. I prefer, you know, the uh, zooming in type deal. But I do like the 9mm on this game. There we go. So, yes, I've got some. I'm liked. And I am shunned by the powder gangers, obviously, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to raid these people for all of their supplies. I owe you a huge favour for this. Here. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Excellent. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I've taken all of their clothes, their boots. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a motorcycle. Yes, so anyway. Uh, oh, shit, there's just guts and stuff all over the road. So, surprisingly, everybody actually seemed to survive. Um, I don't think I was actually hit. Which is nice. Um, I want to see if Chet has any more. Uh, that was a hell of a fight. Let's see if he has any caps. Yes, he has caps. Okay, so I'm going to sell sell my shit that I don't want. Uh, most of this miscellaneous stuff uh, doesn't really have uh, use in this game. In the the previous game, you could build all sorts of different little little things. Uh, the dark gun was one of the best things, especially if you wanted to fight death claws. You could use use a dark gun on a death. I want to keep the scrap metal. Uh, tin can, turpentine, tweezers, yeast. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, let me just take away. Okay, it's just because it says point six, so I don't. I didn't want to. Put, an, uh, put a point six in if I wasn't going to get a cap out of it. Uh, let's look at my apparel. I don't want a baseball bat. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the cleaver. Uh, I'll keep a shotgun for now. Actually, does it use the same ammo as the sturdy caravan? Yeah. Uh, there's no point then. No point keeping that. Uh, the three five seven. Uh, I'll keep that for now. I got a 10 millimeter BB gun. Broad, mm, yes, and a power. Let's see. Um, I've got DT12, DT6. Uh, I don't want to. I want to keep one of these because of uh, you can use disguises in this game, um, which is cool. Um, Pre-war hat. I might be able to repair the two together. Uh, okay, for some reason I can I can sell the thermo hygrograph. I don't think that's actually supposed to be. That seems kind of like a mistake uh, from the creation of the mod. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so we we'll sell that shit. Uh, weapons? Did I sell my weapons to this guy? Yes, I sold all those. Thanks. So let's take a look at the apparel quickly, and let's see if I can repair the two. No, uh, no pre-war hat. Okay, well the the baseball cap has is, is in a better condition. You looking to buy some supplies? Show me what you have to sell, so I can sell that hat, that pre-war hat. Uh, fuck it, point one. I don't really give a shit. Uh, three. Another satisfying yes. Customer. So anyway, let's um, let's start our journey. Let's start our journey. I have no idea where we're gonna go, where this journey is going to take us. But let's have a cheeky quick save. Once I find the button for it, I thought it was F5, but it might be F6. Uh, again. Seems to refuse to. There we go. Quick saving. So I don't know which. It was F5. Yeah, F5 is usually usually what I prefer. And then like 
F9 for quick load. Anyway, so we're on the road, and we're going to follow this road, and we are going to see what we what we come across. It's going to be a slow a slow journey. And there's some dead rats. Let's see how hungry we are. We need the we need a computer to tell us how hungry we are. Uh, status food one eight four one two one sleep okay. So we've got the metal armor is giving us less agility, but headgear is giving us perception bonus. Oh, I should also show you my special, I suppose. Now I went for a, like a high strength, high intelligent build. Uh, I don't really bother with luck because usually it's just um, well, I guess it's it's mostly uh, gambling and also um, how many caps and stuff you find in containers and the like. And the, a problem with Bethesda games, or just the rain stopped, hasn't it? There's some I can see some rain that's actually stopped in Medea. That's a bit that's a bit unfortunate. Um, we'll have to try to ignore that. Anyway, so the rain stopped. Um, and let's see, so we've got Las Vegas that way. Now, if I remember correctly... Oh, and the rain is picking back up again. Fair enough. Um, I'm hoping it's not just going to constantly rain non-stop. Uh, I'm not using fast travel. I should have kept the binoculars. I did have a pair of binoculars, and I unfortunately I sold those because usually I, you know, I don't really bother with them. Uh, but since I'm not fast travelling in this version, uh, there's a caravan down there. So yes, at the start of the game, it's going to be it's going to be fairly easy because um, obviously I'm not going to be in. Desperate need of supplies. Star caps. Uh, locker. Now, in the original Fallout, you, uh, you used to be able to do caravan work. Um, used to you uh, used to be able to uh, escort water caravans up and down the uh, the state to different locations. Uh, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any such thing in this game, from what I recall. Uh, 